Hey everyone, welcome to episode 17 of the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Monday, December 7th and it's roughly 4.30 in the afternoon. Thank you all for joining me and um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, this will be hopefully a shorter video. I have just a few finished objects and some whips and I have no acquisitions. Um, I haven't had a ton of time for uh, crafting. It's, you know, Christmas season, so I've been busy with all of that. I podcasted about a week ago, and so I've got a few things done, and I wanted to come on here and show you what I've got. First, I wanted to say that um, any of the yarn um, and patterns and such, um, if I'm able to, I will link them down below in the description box. And also down there I have um, where my, my Instagram, which is the knit and crochet spot and my email address. And if anybody, you know, wanted to email me to chat and stuff, I would love that. And also if you do like this video and you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate you subscribing and giving this video a like and commenting. Okay. So now that we've got all that out of the way, we'll get to the finished objects. I have two hats and a small amigurumi. So we'll get on with the hats. So I have two hats that are the same, um, but they're different sizes. So this is the kid size. I've deemed it the kid size. It's just a basic knit hat where I, and I have a longer brim so that I can fold it over. Um, this is 72 stitches. And then I did a, um, a two by one rib and I, you can fold it over like that. And then I did a bigger hat in the same yarn, in the same pattern. It's just a bigger size. I don't know if you can tell. And well, you'll tell when I put it on the mannequin because it'll be huge. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's quite big. These mannequin heads are, I don't know whose head is this small. If, so this is the adult one. And this one is 80, um, 80 stitches. And it's a two by two rib. And the pattern that I use um, is a pearl Soho pattern. And I really just use it for the, um, the stitch counts. And I don't always do the dub, you know, the brim that you can fold over. I don't always do that. I just kind of felt like it this time. Um, a lot of times I just do, this is, this is, I think this is, and it's a free pattern, Pearl So I'll, I'll link that down. It's Pearl Soho pattern. Um, it's got three different hat sizes. There is a baby size, a kid size, and adult size, but with the way I knit, like this this hat here is 72 stitches. And that's, they say that's for the baby. No, it could be just cause I'm, you know, I'm a loose knitter or whatever, but this is for, this is a kid size. And then this hat here is 80 stitches. And according to the pattern, that's a kid size, but that's the one I use for the, for an adult, so. That's about it. Yep. So I will link that down. I just used it. I, they do a couple of things different in the pattern. Um, and I don't, it's such a, it's such a basic hat pattern that it's really just where I got my stitch count from how much to cast on and how, you know, measurements, how, how far you knit before you do this. Um, I got to try to remember to look at that green dot on my phone instead of looking straight ahead. That's hard. So, and the yarn that I used is a Red Heart yarn. It, it, no, it is not. It is a mainstay yarn, which is, I think, the first time I've used this yarn, actually. Um, it is Mainstay's basic yarn. And this is, um, let's see, this is, I guess it's blue skies variegated. Um, it is a number four 
285 yards, 142 grams. And I did two hats and I have like this much left. And the hook size I used, I'm sorry, the needles that I used um, were five millimeter. And I think on this hat, I forgot to on the bigger hat, I think I just used five millimeter for the whole thing. And then on this hat for the brim, I did a four millimeter. Nice and quick. These are really fast. You can get these done in the morning. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I made them for, not for Christmas, just because just I wanted to make them. For my daughter and her son, they'll have little matching hats. Yep, and it's interesting. Um, it's interesting to me, like they pulled in the same spot. Look at that. I found that interesting. Okay, so that's two of my finished objects. And I will take a sip of my drink. My last finished object is, I'm going to get this right, the Among Us Amigurumi that's been going around. My grandson loves this game. I didn't even know he did. I was talking to my other daughter about it, um, saying, you know, asking her if she had heard about it. And my grandson's like, oh, I love that game. And I thought for Christmas, I would make him one of these. And I used a video tutorial and I don't remember who by who, but I'll link that down below. I'm not really all that happy with how this came out. I'm not too happy with that, but um, there's some other patterns on YouTube, video tutorials rather, that I will try and I'll make some more. It's very quick. And all of this yarn, all of it is um, um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. So there's little Among Us characters with his, there's his backpack. I just don't like this. I think I, I think I uh, should have kind of spread it, like spread it out a bit more. But they're cute. They're really cute. I know he'll be happy. All right. So that is all my finished objects. <coughs> Excuse me. So for my works in progress, this is just. Mm, do I have everything? Wait a sec. Oh, I do. Thank goodness. Okay. So let's see, I guess I have four that I can show, a little bit of progress. So the first works in progress I have are my socks. Um, I showed these last week. Um, I don't know where I was, um, but this is how far I am now. I think I had just gotten past um, the waist yarn that I put in for my heel. So I've made this much progress and I'm using the Addy Flexi Flips and it's kind of, I'll be honest, it's kind of slowing me down. I feel like I put a bit of time into these and I'm just not as far as I think I should be. Um, I probably have another 10 rows before I start toe decreases and I have the heel and the whole other sock to make. So um, I'm not really in love with these, <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm going to get I'm going to get through it. I'm going to do both socks with these. I just keep losing my needle. I keep dropping the needle. Um, I keep losing stitches because, you know, when you're, when you're knitting across, you're not paying attention to this, to the back needle and stitches fall off. And I do love these. I do love how these are coming out though. So these are, and this, I am, I am, I will not be surprised if I lose completely, 100% lose this third needle. Oh. I should still try to reserve judgment, but. So the yarn I'm using is this, and this is, um, this is West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I got this a few years ago, it's 75 percent wool, 25 percent nylon, 437 yards. It's fingering, obviously. 
so I have a lot. There's a lot of yarn there. And then I'm going to eventually, for my heel, use this yarn, which is also West Yorkshire Spinner. If I'm not mistaken, I got a kit. Well, yeah, like I got these together plus a pattern, which I've never used and I don't know where it is, but there was a sock pattern that came with it. Um, yeah, so this is same thing, you know, there's, I they don't, I never see any color. I don't, there's no colorway on here, but yeah. So this would be my Christmas socks for this year if I can get them done. To see when I have it in my Christmas bag from Knit for Brains. Is that cute? That's so cute. Um, and I use 2.25. And my preferred method is Magic Loop. <sighs> but I, I really feel like if I were to make the other sock a Magic Loop, that it would be, the gauge would be off and it would be two different size socks. That's what I'm really, that's what I'm thinking. But this is just... Just feel for the amount of time I've put into it that it's I'm not making progress like I should. I feel like I should have the whole sock done. If not, the heel, I should have the toe done and the other sock started. So, just not really loving those. I'm, I can't get used to them yet. Okay, I better put this. I better put this back before I forget where I got it from. Okay, so my second work in progress. Oh, this has just got a little bit of, I'll show at any rate. This is a, a granny stitch shawl I'm working on. And I think I probably only put on a row since the last time. It's in my Diagon Alley bag from Nomadic Yarns. I love it. And yeah, a pretty, well, I don't know. Anyway, here it is. I, I, I didn't put too much on it. I started the new ball. I finished the other ball of yarn and I put in and I've started the second ball. And this is it. This is just a tri granny stitch triangle shawl. And this is it. Beautiful colors. Let me put that. Just beautiful colors. And this is it. I want a nice big shawl. Well, I'm going to put the rest of this in here and hopefully it'll be nice and big. So that's it. And I don't know if I moved my, I think I did. So maybe I did put a bit of, so that's where I was last time. So I've done that much. So one, two, three, four rows, I think. And the yarn I'm using for that is, I'm using Sirdar Jewel Spun Aran, 200 grams, 546 yards, and it's 100% acrylic. And I don't know the colorway either. But it's beautiful. Look at all the different colors in it. The blue and the pink and the orange and the yellow. It's beautiful. And the hook I'm using is a six millimeter hook. So that is, that works in progress. And so I have two more. So this one, I didn't, yeah, I don't know how much progress I've made on this either because I know I forgot to, because I was thinking about this last night that I did not move my stitch marker to show how much progress I have made. But this is a place, it's like a placemat. Here it is. I didn't move my stitch marker, but I have made a bit of progress on it. It's just going to be like a placemat. I'm not going to make like all placemat. Like I'm not going to make, six placemats. I'm just going to make this one and kind of just stick it in the center of the um, table, something like that. So this is it. And what it's supposed to look like when it's done is this. It is the Cozy Christmas Cottage Placemat. Um, mm. 
And that is what it will look like when it's done. It's cute. And this pattern is by Rachel Van. I can't pronounce the last name. So it's knit, obviously. And the needles I'm using are um, four millimeter. My four millimeter chai goos. Chai goos, however you say that. And the yarn I'm using, I love this yarn, is, I think it's a cotton yarn. Well, cotton, it is, it's like 87% cotton, 13% nylon. It's loops and threads, and it's the cream cotton. And it's called Country Blue, three, 432 yards, 200 grams. And I have this much left. And if I needed to, which I don't really think I'm going to, I have another ball of this as well. I really love this yarn. I love this. I hope that in the summer they come out with more of this. I hope so. So that is That Works in Progress. And I'm going to move the stitch marker now. It'd be so great if I could get all this done. I have some major whips that I need to be working on that I'm not, not Christmas gifts or anything like that. Cause I don't really, I don't really do Christmas gifts uh, only because I don't, I don't want the, I don't want that pressure. I make things and just give it to people. So if I make something now for you and it's Christmas time, I'm not going to wait till Christmas, except for I am going to that Amigurumi, the Among Us character, I'm gonna put that in my grandson's stocking. But usually I'll just, I'm gonna make it, I'll give it to you. Cause I just don't want any, I don't want the pressure of getting, I've done that to myself and I don't, I don't wanna do that. I have a blanket. I'm supposed to be making my sister for Christmas. She is not gonna get that for Christmas. She'll get it though. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big blanket maker. I, what, when I first started crocheting, I made, I did make blankets, but now, I don't know. I wish, I wish I could get back into them. I look at all these beautiful blankets, and I don't, I don't make them. All right, so my last work in progress is just, just a hat I started. It's not anything... There's no pattern. It's just, I wanted to use some of my scraps and I love this yarn. So I wanted to, and I love making hats. Somebody's home. I just heard their car beep. So here it is so far. I started this this morning actually. Um, it's just gonna be a beanie, beanie hat. Um, and it is just something, I just made this. This is half double crochet ribbing. Um, I think it's, it's eight, this is eight stitches. I just made it so it fit around my head. And then I changed the yarn and I think I put 72 stitches around. I just put an even amount so when I do a, few, I do a couple of decreases. They'll be even, you know, just decrease two together and then I cinch the top. Just, I just want to do something easy, crochet, easy, you know, easy. So and this is half, did I, is 72 stitches around, I'm pretty sure. And it's half double crochet. And I'll just do that until I feel like it's big enough. Um, And this, the yarn that I'm using for the brim, this is just um, Knit Picks yarn. Um, it's Brava Worsted. And I, I don't know the color name. I'm sure I have, I do have more of this, but it's Brava Worsted. And this, I'm using this yarn. I love this yarn. Oh, this is nice yarn. And I'm not a big cake person, but I love these yarns. I think somebody's home. Yeah, somebody's home. Hello? I'm not gonna say hi. Yeah? Okay. 
I'm doing a video. Okay. Okay. So this is the yarn. Sorry about that. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm not going to. So this is the Mandala Ombre. Um, in the colorway Harmony. I made it, I don't know, a few videos back. I made a hat for my granddaughter. And um, I had a lot of it left. I really, I love working with this yarn. So I wanted to make another hat with it. And this is a number four medium worsted weight um, yarn. It is 100% acrylic, 344 yards, 150 grams. And I love it. I really, really love it. So I'm making a hat. And I think this is a good combination. And using up, this is scraps. So we'll see how far I get and how much I have. Um, if I see this yarn again, I'll definitely get it. This is so soft and it's really nice to work with. So yeah, that's the end of my, um, what I have to show you today. I don't have any, um, acquisitions and I have, um, some things I have bought and I'm saving them for Christmas. I bought, and I don't know what it's called. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I bought this yarn kit i guess it's from lolo did it it's a christmas box is what it is so i don't know i picked out the theme i wanted she had three different themes and i picked out the theme that i wanted and but i don't know what's it going to be in the box i know it'll be yarn some yarn and a pattern and some other yarny things i i'm assuming and i'll, I'll open that on christmas day so i don't know if anybody else does that where you know my husband he doesn't know. I mean, he, tr he is the biggest supporter I have. And I think when I buy yarn, he has more fun. At, he has more fun with that than I do. So and I'm, I'm really lucky for that. So, but he doesn't know exact. So he just says, well, can you get yourself something? So I got that from him to me. And even though I know what it is, I don't know what it is. Cause I don't know what the yarn's going to look like. I don't know what the pattern is. And then I also bought a Knit Picks mystery bag, which I've never bought a mystery bag before. So, and I'll open that up on Christmas. So I'm a lucky girl. So I have all my Christmas gifts and I'll, I'll have that coming. And that's really all that I've, that's all that I've, I've bought other than tons of stuff for my, not tons of stuff, but stuff for my friends and family. Oh, I didn't even say this. I'm blabbering on and on. Not that it matters. The hook I'm using for my hat is a five millimeter. I'm using that. So that is it. I'll say it again. I hate saying this, but um, I do want my channel to grow. So I'll say it again. If you liked this video and you made it this far, I'd really appreciate you liking and subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment. I would really appreciate it. And this video is not too long. It's less than a half an hour. I'm very proud of myself. So you all have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye now.